cable mic. Hello everyone, can you hear and see me clearly? So this is the live stream for Asahi Linux. So um, let me know in the chat whether you can hear me clearly and uh, we're gonna get straight into this. So basically, in front of me here, I've got my M1 Max 32 gigabytes of RAM, 32 GPU cores. And uh, we've got this hooked up via HDMI to my streaming computer. And we're gonna be testing out some Linux games. So this is Asahi Linux running bare metal on an Apple Silicon Mac. We'll be doing some testing. And uh, the exciting news about Asahi Linux is the fact that we are running this bare metal. So this is the only other operating system that we can run on the Apple Silicon Mac, apart from Mac OS. There is no Windows version of, uh, of uh, ARM64 computer. So basically, this is the only way to run a different operating system. And it really opens up the, the possibilities of uh, gaming because they've implemented OpenGL 4.6, which is basically a stepping stone for Vulkan implementation. And if Asahi Linux develops further in time, then we could potentially get things like full Vulkan support. And with things like um, x86-64 emulation, then we're, we have the possibility of having a Proton-like experience. So Proton is kind of the magic which allows things like the Steam Deck to function and to run Windows games really well on you know, Linux operating systems. And what's really exciting is that basically Apple Silicon Macs could have a path for gaming, but it, it needs to come through this Asahi Linux team and they've been reverse engineering all of the drivers. So uh, all of the display drivers, keyboard, mouse, everything that you need to think of has to be reverse engineered. And basically what they've, the work that they've done is absolutely incredible considering the fact that, you know, they have no documentation from Apple. Everything is crowdsourced. It's a team of, I think it's a core of four people, I think in total, um, Mark Han, Alyssa, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing a couple of people out, but I will I will credit properly when I make my full uh, YouTube video, not just a live stream. And um, also make sure that if you do want to install this, I'll be making a video tutorial on how to install uh, Asahi Linux Bare Metal. And uh, anyway, yeah, I'll be having a look at the chat at the moment, uh, you know, before I get stuck in. So Marco, what do you, do you think that this could work for games with anti-cheat? Yeah, new... New as real says the anti cheat situation is the same with Linux doesn't work. So yeah, the the situation with um, Proton on a, the Steam Deck with Valve, of course, is the you know the fact that Valve is quite a large company. Steam Deck has a relatively large install base now. Um, they can negotiate with uh, developers to make sure that they have exceptions for anti cheat enabled on um, certain games. For example, Apex Legends works great on a Steam Deck. Um, now the Mac player base is just not big enough. So I'm sure we could get, uh, I'm sure we could get Apex Legends working on crossover. However, it's not actually implemented just because the player base is not big enough to warrant that kind of thing. So yeah, that's that's the kind of thing. So we're, we're I don't think Asahi Linux's gaming player base is ever going to be big enough to be able to, to do that kind of negotiation with these kind of big AAA free-to-play games. But um, I think for, personally, I'd be quite satisfied if one day there was a path towards like, you know, more games running on Asahi Linux than say crossover on the macOS side so we could run the, the large pool of Windows games on Mac hardware in some way or another. So, okay, so basically, um, all warning for everyone joining in the stream right now. Basically, I am a Linux noob. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm um, capable of, you know, running various um, commands through tutorials. I have a very superficial understanding of Linux. So I'm really gonna rely on the chat to like figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. So, you know, I've done I've done the complicated technical part, which took me about an hour, which is to install um which is to install Asahi Linux on the Mac in the first place. And so I, I pray that this is the first technical hurdle over. But the next thing that we're gonna do is to test out some games. So um I, I really need uh ideally what I'd like to have are Linux games that actually work 
on ARM64, uh, ARM64 Linux, and uh, make as much use of OpenGL 4.6 as possible or anything that's relatively graphically intensive. So I have some ideas in my notes. Uh, I'd like to try out Minecraft via Prism Launcher. Um, there's, a, there's a game called Mind Test. I want to try Ryujinx, uh, which is apparently working. There needs to be some patches to get this to work correctly. Uh, if there are any other kind of suggestions for games that I should be testing, I have no, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. So it's uh, I, I would really appreciate anyone helping out, uh, making sure that I, I have an idea of what to do next. Because, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to go and we're going to get Prism Launcher. So Prism Launcher is, you know, easily the best way to run um, to run Minecraft on the Mac right now, or in general. Um, another thing I need to note is that my screen looks great, right? So the Asylum Linux looks amazing on the screen. However, on the HDMI capture, I found that it's a little bit kind of washed out, okay? So what I've noticed is uh, I've, I've using the um, unifying uh, display configuration, so I've got mirror. I've tried it with and without. Uh, I'm not sure why it's kind of washed out. If I look at the display as well, display settings, I'm not particularly familiar with this, but um, from from my in my eye, it looks kind of a bit wrong. So uh, I've tried tweaking the the color. So let me know in the stream if that looks okay. 4000K. I've I put it on night color, so let me know if that looks okay to you but because to me the contrast is a bit wrong uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, I'm just running this straight through straight HDMI through the uh, M1 uh, Max's MacBook Pro port here so uh, we don't have USB-C HDMI working at the moment so um, uh, that's why I'm using this uh, MacBook Pro at the moment uh, we also we also don't have support for any M3 chip either so it's a this is the only Mac that I can use which supports um, HDMI output this is the only one that I can stream reliably because uh, I don't want to use the I don't want to use OBS um, software mode in in uh, on Asahi Linux itself. I want to use my my stream setup. Okay, good, good, good. So uh, someone's saying here. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Insert Linux users installing web browser meme. I don't know what that meme is, but uh, let me have a look. I'll. Uh, you probably want to install Glorious Egg Roll Proton, Proton GE. Yeah, so we're not able to test out um, x86 64 uh, bit. Okay, this uh, because um, we don't have a working uh, emulator for um, x86 64 to ARM64. So there's, there's something called FEX, F -E -X, um, which apparently is not working at the moment. There's also talk about micro uh micro vms to to get games working but i haven't seen a an actual working implementation of this yet colors look like an uh, an hdr issue that's possibly true however if i look at my if i look at my my thing here um that i did have an option for hdr and i can't seem to see it here so hd oh let me see can i get 60 hertz there's no option here for HDR. So if anyone, just see, can I get this working? Ooh, yeah, um, there's no option here for HDR. So I'm not really sure why that, why that is. Uh, let me see. If anyone can tell me what to do, then uh, yeah, then this doesn't support HDR. Not sure why that is. It seems like a, a thing, but anyway, you guys can see it, so I don't really think that it's the biggest issue at the moment. Okay, so let's good. Show some natural images like trees. Okay, let's have a look. Trees. Now I'm really impressed with um with this so far. I'm using a I'm using like a Bluetooth keyboard paired to uh, my MacBook, and uh, I've been using a, a Logitech mouse. And you know this is all working. I'm very impressed with it. Let's look at some natural images. Maybe not too copyrighty. What is a tree? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit washed out on the screen itself here. You know, it's uh, it looks fine. It looks the colors look fine on my on my actual you know on my actual screen, but um, the HDMI output 
yeah, bad color profile. How do I fix that? Is it possible to fix this? I'm using you guys as like tech support because I'm, I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing because I, I don't use Linux at all, really. Um, the closest thing that I've got is when I switch a desktop mode on Steam Deck, that's the only time I've ever really used it. And now I'm, I've got Fedora installed on this. Um, it's even less familiar because, you know, at least before when this was Arch based, this, uh, it was slightly more familiar, <laughs> very, very slightly more familiar than me. Okay, in the KD system, there should be a color management tab. Color, here, yeah, color management. Okay, HDMI unknown. Okay, profiles. Yeah, let's see. I can't seem to. So I've got these different profiles, but there's no option to apply. Uh, let me see here. So devices, HDMI, EDP. So HDMI is what I'm connected to on my capture card. Um, and I have an option here to change. I can import profile, but I can't apply. Choose sRGB. Yeah, it should be choosing, but I can't. There's no apply button here. So all I've got is this, this, this. Assign profile devices. Let me see. This device has no profile detect assigned to it. So I want to import this profile, but I don't seem to have. Do I need to do it from here? No. I can't. There's no. Um, there's no button to import this because you know I want to have good footage because basically what I want to do is uh, get some B-roll for this uh, for a main main video later. So if anyone can figure out if you've got Asahi Linux installed, how do I enable sRGB on the device profile for HTMI? This this device has no profile attached to it. Yeah, I'm trying to um, set so drag uh, Dravkov. Yeah, I'm trying to click assign profile. This doesn't seem to work. Um, Kai, sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. But this is Linux. It's got nothing to do with piracy. Why do people associate uh, Linux with piracy? <laughs> Certain cables and adapters. Well, this is, uh, you know, this is an an HDMI cable plugged straight from the Mac into the uh, the computer. Maybe import an ICC profile for MacBook display. If I import, I don't have that dialog anymore. So I've got this one here, ICC profile. But even if I, I mean, I should be able to select this profile. Um, and then apply it. But anyway, if I can't get the, f if I, if the colors look a bit funky, if this tree looks a bit psychedelic, you know, it's not the end of the world. If anyone, if anyone can figure this out, let me know. Because I'm sure that the color profiles for like, if you're using a Mac mini M1 and you're using a Sai Linux, then it must, must look okay. It's just a, you know, it's a, it's a minor thing. But the, 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 the colors look a little bit funky, slightly. Certain cables will weird out colors and attempt to disable piracy cases. I'll tell you where you're not pointing. <laughs> cables? So this is a Ugreen HDMI cable. I can't, I can't see. Oh, I am using like a right angle adapter for my MacBook. I'm just try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try plugging in direct to see if that makes any difference. I did this so like, try to get a slightly better Economics on it. Ah, it's still the same thing. So I, I use like a right angle um, HDMI adapter, but uh, yeah. So this is a fresh install. So um, actually, I wiped my macOS um, because I had an APFS like uh, corruption issue. So I just wiped the whole computer, and then um, and basically uh, I wiped it, and then I just installed Asahi Linux like a few hours ago. And uh, yeah, that is basically, that is basically it. Okay, good, good. So 
Shanine, Wasim, let's just just get on with it. Just test some bloody games. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, let's see. But you are here to help. You are here to try and help. Okay, good. So, Prism Launcher, okay? So, we're going to use Prism Launcher and download some games. So, the MacBook screen is actually looking fine. Um, so, if I if I show you my... I'll show you my uh, overhead. Let me see. See, the, the screen itself looks looks great. If I get... Let me get color of a tree. Tree. Tree in Google. Yeah, so the Mac screen looks fine. Okay, this 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 tree is is perfectly is a perfectly good tree color, but uh, for whatever reason, um, we're not we're not getting the right color on here. But can you switch the monitor itself to R sRGB? I, I it's a, it's a capture card, so uh, let me see. There's a capture card and OBS there is, let me just see. It's a color space default. So I've got an option between rec 709, rec 10601. What if I do that 709? I don't have this issue with any other display inputs. So I think it's, I really think it's probably, um, I think it's probably like an issue with the actual compute, the uh, Asahi Linux output, but uh, I don't know. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm I'm using this because um, if you go to Asahi, if we go to the um, Asahi Linux website, you'll see that there's there's compatibility issues for uh, the development is you know is I got to stress this out right. This is very impressive, like what they what they've achieved is extremely impressive. But if you look at device support here, you can see basically we have everything supported except for USB-C displays and Thunderbolt cables, microphone and touch ID. So, you know, if I've got my MacBook Pro here, basically they've managed to get basically everything working. And this is this is amazing considering that the team is so small, there's no documentation, they've had to reverse engineering everything from scratch. But uh, USB displays not working, um, 120 hertz not working, etc. So these things are to do, and you know they've got a huge job because um, you know they're only supporting the the M1 and the M2 generation at the moment. The M3 generation is substantially different from M1 and M2, so they, they've got their work cut out for them. So they, we don't even have full support for the previous generations yet. Um, anyway. Okay, let's get on with that Prism Launcher. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit washed out the colors, but let's get on with it. Okay, so um, there's like a script I think that we can use to to do this. So in the past we would have used um, obviously Arch Linux to do this, but uh, this time we're going to be using the Fedora command. I think so. This one we need to basically get the console out, which is similar to terminal, I suppose. And then we need to uh, paste these commands. So this one is gonna um, enable this repo, C-O-P-R repo, right? Type in your password. Enabling a COP repository. Please note this repository is not part of the main distribution and quality may vary. Okay, do I want to enable it? Yes. Okay, then we get Prism Launcher. Okay, good. This is pretty straightforward, to be honest. Yes, let's do it. Total install size, 41, no, download size, 41 megabytes. Install size, 142. Very reasonable. Okay, good. Let's try and arrange this window a bit nicer. Okay. Working with Sahi Linux, how much M1 Macs use RAM? How do I check RAM usage? Okay, uh, let me know in the in the chat. How do you check RAM usage? Uh, I've seen I've seen like images of uh, display information, of like system information. How do you get that up? Let me know in, in the chat. Okay, next. Um, okay, so we've installed Prism Launcher. 
I think. So these all these other commands are for nightly, Qt5, Qt5 nightly. Okay. Great. We've installed <laughs> we've installed Prism Launcher. How, where has it gone? Where is Prism Launcher? Oh, okay, good. Prism Launcher. Is that is that the, my local install? Oh yeah, here we are. H top. Top. What does top do? Search. I'm just trying everything in chat. Uh, search for K S Y S guard. What is that? Get get this. Oh, okay. Is this flat pack? No, discover. Discover center. So what what is this? Is these like um processes that are being used? P I D. Okay, so CPU is on Plasma Discover, Wayland, yeah. Oh yeah, so so if anyone's watching this and they want to emulate what I'm doing as well, what you need to do is to have like, you need to um, use a command to update everything. And I've forgotten what that is, but I will be including it in my tutorial video because I, I recorded that bit already. Okay, good, KSY guard, K, oh, KSYS guard. Okay, sorry, let's install this and have a look. And okay, good, good, good. Touchpad, touchpad works as well. Yeah, see, the touchpad works great. And you know, it's cool that the touchpad works. We have, um, let me see, two finger scroll. That's all working. It's very impressive that this all works. Um, Pac Man S Zenith. Zenith. Yeah, DNF. This is a new concept for me. Okay, I'm going to close this and I'm going to open up. Where's my prism launcher gone? Oh, no, this one. Let's launch K Sys Guard. Okay, let's put this in my. Let's pin this. And uh, let's see how much memory is being used. Uh, I've got 32 gigabytes of memory. So um, it's using three out of 30.8. Zero swap. Uh, yeah, idle, an idle computer. You know, this works on the M1, base M1 with eight gigabytes. Works fine on 32 gigabytes too. Okay, where's my prison launcher gone? Because I just had it open. Go to the system load tab. What's the system? Okay, system load. Okay, maybe I'll try and keep this up a little bit. Okay, why is my, what? Um... Prism launcher, what is it? Why is this uh, not coming up? It's just, uh... Where's my prism launcher? Okay. So first technical hurdle. Why is my prism launcher uh crashing? Let's just see, let's just do this again. Prism launcher. Have I installed the wrong version of Prism Launcher? Let's just check. So uh, the one I installed is this one here. The stable release. Uh, so I've enabled this CAPR. I have installed this. This option is not okay. So um, da -da, dependencies resolved. So the dependencies. Okay, stable is broken on our site. Okay, let's get the nightly version. Good, good. This is why this is why I'm live streaming this because I've no idea what I'm doing, and the uh, the, the amount. Okay, let me see here. Package problem. Problem with install package. Da, da, da. Try to add allow erasing. Allow erasing. That's what does this mean? Yes. Okay, let's do install the QT5 version. Okay, let me just try this. What is Qt? I see the word Qt5. Is that like a UI thing? Ah, oh, yeah, here we are. What's the difference between um, Qt5 and standard? Right. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. What is what is the actual difference? 
between um, QT5 and standard. Okay, good. So, um, thank you very much, Posco BT, for giving me these tips. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a bit like the Mac install of Prism Launcher. We need to install Java as well. So we need, um, yeah, it's a GUI widget. It's like Python 2, Python 3. It's a UI toolkit. Yeah, I think this this UI front end seems fine. Uh, so we want the ARM64 version of Java 17. And uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the this is this is the standard version. It's not a command line interface. Um, circ Q4. Let's get this up to eight gigabytes of RAM. And uh, when does this need to install? Do I need to install Java? Okay, Prism Launcher is there. You're on QTQD library system of piece to GTK name. Yeah, I installed um, KDE Plasma and uh, instead of GNOME. Is it is it called GNOME or Genome or whatever, whatever it is? All right, so I, I'm not actually sure because I just had KDE Plasma as like a more common um, desktop OS kind of uh, user interface. So I'm not really sure what the difference is. Okay, good. Well, we've got Prism Launcher installed. I'm using the non-QT5 version. So this is the standard version. So uh, let me see, I need to add an account. So manage accounts. Uh, let's add my Microsoft account. Okay. Okay, signed into my Microsoft account. KD is like Windows, GNOME is like macOS. Okay, well, I don't mind. KD is based off Qt, so you have the Qt apps dependencies already. If you were to install another toolkit's version, you would need to those dependencies as well. Looks like Windows, therefore, while well, there's another desktop environment called GNOME, which more, looks more like macOS. GNOME is better on laptops, IMO, especially with the gestures. Okay, well, that's news to me. I have no... Ooh, don't sign in? Why? Why wouldn't I sign in to my Microsoft account? Okay, anyway. Okay, good, good, good. So um, we'll close this. And then we're going to add an instance. And uh, we're going to install 1.20.4. And let's use Fabric as well. So let's press OK. KD is currently more optimized for M1 because of Wayland. KD is based on QT. So a QT version of an app will look better on KD, while GTK version will look better on GNOME. GNOME? No. Is it really called GNOME? Okay, good. So let's uh, create a new instance. And let's just try and launch this. So it's downloading some dependencies. I don't get a single thing, but it's fun to watch. I am barely understanding what I'm doing at the moment. So um, I'm really appreciating the the uh, the comments in the chat because I people think that I'm some kind of like tech tech expert, right? But th the reality is that I actually have a very superficial understanding of computers. Like, you know, a, a PC gamer knows how to, you know, install a graphics card. It's like Lego. You just slot it in, whatever, right? You have an issue, you just Google it. Um, read the wikis, edit the wikis, you know, figure out the issue. Uh, but majority of the time, I'm just like copying and pasting commands into here. So this is the first time I've ever touched uh, Fedora Linux ever, right? And my my previous use of this was um, of Linux was Asahi Linux maybe like eight or nine months ago when I last did a video on it. And then you know when I when I sometimes go into desktop mode on my Steam Deck, which I barely use anymore, and. So and so I I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You're more of an entertainer. I really don't think I'm I people don't watch me for you know, I often tell people as a YouTuber, people don't really watch me for entertainment. 
it's more like the content kind of speaks for itself because I do I do so many tutorial videos and uh, you know it's trying to explain technical things in a really simple visual way that's kind of the the skill that I have but it's not really I wouldn't really call it entertainment you wouldn't want to watch me um, for like 10 hours <laughs> I'm not that funny okay can you see if Overwatch runs we are way 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 very far away from running Overwatch on our side Linux there are a lot of things that need to happen like uh, x86 64 bit emulation uh x86 64 cpu emulation like a uh, uh, fex we need uh the, the micro vm to work a lot of things need to happen before before any like big commercial games can work we're getting minecraft to work that's because there's already you know this is pretty trivial because we already have a um we already have a an arm 64 version of java and it doesn't use any complex um it doesn't use any complex graphics APIs. We're using OpenGL, so it's you know it's going to be pretty straightforward. The any complex games will be, I think, years away still from from working for end users. I mean, um, last year um, we we had uh, we had games. Asahi Lino demonstrated a load of games like Portal Two working, but you know that was like in a very hacked up version of Asahi Linux um, using I think it was FEX to do the the CPU emulation. And uh, the, the Rosetta like translation layer, and you know that's that's not ready for production either. So we're, we're way, way, way far away from getting Overwatch two to work. I'm afraid. Okay, good. I watch you for entertainment, says Luca. Thank you. Okay, Mars Mars Wozniak, Mister Mister Wozniak. I'm a dev with nine years of experience. I still mostly Google things and read docs. Yeah, pretty much it. Hey, recently checked your channel out after a while. Keep up the good work. Thank you, RS. Another day of motivating a YouTuber. <laughs> yes, you can add mods to crossover games. Vulcan is close, though, and FEX can already be used. Yeah, if, if someone can tell me how to use FEX, that would be great. If there's some kind of tutorial to get it to work, I'd be very interested. Huzzah, Minecraft is working. Hmm, there's a narrator. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. We have, we have liftoff. Let me check. You can hear the nice. Don't know if you can hear the speaker in the background. I've got my uh, noise cancellator. Just turn this down. Okay, good, good, good. So let's let's have a look. Brilliant. Full screen. Uh, let's see. Let's get this working at 1080p. And uh, fancy graphics. 12, 12, 120. Let's turn VSync off. Okay, let's make ourselves a world. Let's call this a Sahi world. It's creative because I'm a scaredy cat. Okay, go create new world. Woohoo, yes. Never in the history of my YouTube channel have I had a live stream or I've managed to get a game working <laughs> that quickly. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't start the live stream trying to install. I was thinking. I could do the live stream starting with actually installing the game in the first place. Um, so installing the operating system in the first place. I had a few, several technical issues I had to fix uh, with that on. Okay, so let me just turn. And I'm an inverty player. Okay, good. Okay, so um, if we look here, let me see. Where's my... Um, you should be able to F, isn't it F3? Yeah, here we are. Okay, let's make this bigger so I can see what I'm doing. I'll full screen this properly. Okay, let's just confirm this is working first. Okay, so um, there we are. 4.6 core profile. Mesa 24.1.0, Asahi 2024, 02.18. So, um, I believe that means that we're using OpenGL 4.6. Okay, so 4.6 core profile. Can you see that that here? Um, so like in the middle of the screen on the right, it says here display 25325576, Apple M1 Max, and then 4.6 core profile. So I believe that this actually demonstrates 
that we're using OpenGL 4.6. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is that I, I'm very aware that um, F3 actually causes issues, right? So, so normally in my um, oh, it looks this this game world looks a lot more saturated on this screen. Okay, what I normally do is that instead of um, trying to benchmark through here, I will normally go into um, the mods and then I'll add the uh, FPS mod. What is it? What is it? So I need to, I've got Fabric Loader installed. Um, yeah, download mods. So normally I use like, I'll, I'll try the uh, Fabric mods later, but uh, let's grab one of these. I think it's this one that I normally use. Yeah, FPS mod. Can I not download it? Select mod for download. Okay, and then I'll use the um, I'll use the other mods later, like sodium. We'll do some shaders too. Okay, which will be cool to test out. So Posco BG Minecraft only needs three point two. It's worked for a while, but the performance is much better now. Okay, good to know. Let's full screen this bad boy. Okay, let's let's full screen this properly. Ugh. Can I, do, I don't really play Minecraft. I'm glad I bought it because I've used it in testing so much. Um, full screen, let's full screen this. Okay, let's load up my world again. Okay, so the issue is that I can't see my uh, my screen, my FPS counter, and I want to. Can I configure this to? Uh, I want to do this. Maybe I'll use a different display mod. Uh, FPS. So I normally use this one. This one's displaying on the top left. Uh, So another one I can use. Okay, well I'll just move I'll just move my I'll just move my camera. <laughs> yeah. What's the mod menu mod? Download the mod menu to change the location. Shark. Oh thank you very much, Shark, for these for the the super chat. Really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Love the content. Keep it up. Yeah, thank you. I often think that this content is. I mean, I don't really understand why people watch this because this is just. I'm just. I'm just testing things out. I barely. I barely understand what I'm doing. Um, but uh, I think. Okay, let's try. Let's try something else. Um, Henry says is over sixty hertz supported. No, it is not currently supported. Okay, let's look at what's the mod menu. Add a mod menu. Hard to disc enriches the standard Minecraft with an interface displaying one dimensional array of modifications. What? Okay, let's try this one. Oh, can I just toggle mods in and out from there? With F3, is it possible is it without mods possible to show the FPS? Yeah, I already I already did this. I might I might try to benchmark this against the uh, standard. Wait, the uh, the macOS version it could be a good benchmark. Go against this. It's full screen this bad boy. Why is it not full screening correctly? Okay, now that's just messed up the. My okay. Yeah, my my mouse is now not working correctly. Let me just use keyboard. That's yeah, better. Why is this not coming into the correct 
expert ratio. I'm gonna try to just quit out and just do this again. Du -du -du. Tu n'as rien préparé, c'est minable. Je t'en des mieux. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Sorry, wise. I've forgotten all my French. Uh, why is this full screen name working? Sounds really annoys me by of, of gaming. Gaming is irritating because things should work, but then they don't. So I used up all my. I used up all my. I used up all my luck. Ah, that's it. Well, if I just drag this up to the top, it full screens or oh, in a quarter. What? So if I push this here, it's it's full screening here. But if I pull this here, then it's that thing there. The thing about Minecraft is that I'm not really sure when it is actually uh, what resolution we're actually running at. Because I t I say here the full screen resolution's here, but then if I run the single player world. Um, and I press F3. Uh, so if I do F3 here, it actually says that I'm on 380, 3840 by 2016. So it's not 1080 at all. Um, how do I, how do I full screen this? Is there like a, that's better. Yeah, but it's still saying, am I still running this at 4K? Is that 3840 by, um, but my desktop resolution is um, 1080p. So that's a weird one. Um, be interested to know what it is. Is it because the resolution aspect ratio is different? Possibly, okay. So let's just try this. I'm gonna have to move my, ugh, oh, I'll move my, uh... I'm just gonna unlock. So move my move my face down a bit. <laughs> okay, my face is my face has been moved, and now you can see the frame rate without any of the F three shenanigans coming up. Okay, so uh, we're running this at 12, 12 chunks. Uh, Fine blend five five fancy twelve twelve hundred twenty. That's like the full extent of the the stuff, right? Okay, good. So resolution is not too bad. Okay, so in, the mod was there in the main menu. What what main menu? Uh, what am I doing? Mods. Oh, okay. Uh, mod menu. Okay, I can install cloth config API. To ex okay, let's do that. Cloth config mod I'm, I'm learning stuff i'm learning i need to download mods cloth config api let's do this so it uses the native screen resolution over dumb dino says uh, it's using it uses the native screen resolution over the resolution you say pc2 okay yeah, I don't. I don't really play enough Minecraft to really understand what is ha actually happening here. Because I have a slightly janky setup at the moment because I'm using this. Um, okay. I'm using this HDMI mirroring. Okay, good. So I can configure this. Uh, oh, I can. I can change the offsets. Oh, I can change this in game too. So if I if I change the offset here to like 50, I wonder what happens. Okay, let's have a look. That hasn't given enough. Um, where's the mod menu? Mods. Okay, so I could. Just, what happens if I do 500? Okay, yeah, it's nearly there. I'm gonna, 
so so that I can actually see this properly on my screen anyway. Let's uh, let's put the mod well, mod. Let's put it like a thousand. You know, like about seven fifty. No, I just need a bit of hair more. Do, do, do. 900. Yeah, slightly more. Da, da, da. I, I'm sure, I don't know why so many people are watching me, okay? This is just uh, the most boring content you can imagine. I'm, I'm, I, you know, the content right now is I'm moving an FPS counter slightly to the right. That's the content you're watching at the moment, everyone. So I don't really know why you're watching. Okay, there we go. Good. Look, I can move my, I can move my, ooh, I can move myself back to where I was. Okay, lock it down. Okay, back. We're back to where we were. So 101 FPS. Let's just put this, uh, let's make this full screen. And uh, ooh, let's put this down a bit as well. Okay, we can actually see the frame rate, 102 FPS. Okay, so if this is true, and we're running this at 4K, then actually this is a pretty good frame rate. Now, what I'd expect, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open up my Coke. Cokes, please, please sponsor me, I drink a lot of this. Okay, so basically what you'd expect from 4K uh, in a creative world like this is like 100 FPS. That's what, that's what I'm expecting, okay? So this, this is standard, I think. If this is truly 4K, then this is not too bad. Um, how do I set it to 1080p? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I set the frame rate cap to off. Let me just check my frame rate. Okay, let's put this to unlimited. VSync is off, so that should be correct. Okay, yeah, I think we're at 4K. And uh... okay, so I did, I now I've turned it off. We're getting proper speeds. So that is is a weird one. 206. I would like to get the music working, but um, as far as I can tell, there are, I can't get the device to go through my HDMI. Um, okay, 4K at 300 FPS. I'm actually pretty sure this is better than, this is music annoying me. I'm pretty sure this is better than um I'm 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 certain this is better than on, on Mac OS. I think what I'm gonna have to do, right, is um load up the same world, identical world in Mac OS and then and then do a comparison. Cause uh this is not too bad. This the the I'm I, I do apologize about the HDMI capture. It's making the game look a lot more orange than it needs to be. Like if you look at if you look at this screen, that's the true that's what the true color looks like. You know? I just put the, the screen back a bit. That's what it should look like. A kind of um brown brownish. But the, this screen looks like, you know, it's like Donald Trump level orange. Okay. Try and changing the res. The next audio name on this compatible duo, yeah. I mean, t I should be getting um, audio through the HDMI, but I'm not sure why that's not working. Okay, let's have a look, quick look at whether I can get the ret the settings, uh, the the actual settings working through um, the actual display settings working correctly. So let's see. Um, we'll edit this because there's like on, on the macOS side, there's like a Retina. Um, uh, let me see. Retina. Retina, no? What's it called? Retin. 
Retina. Retino. What's it called? What's that? What's that mod called? Ugh. The mod is called um Minecraft Retina Mac mod. It's called uh what do you call it? Resolution. Da -da -da. Uh, it's called like Retina or something like that. Retina. <laughs> These are both my videos. I watch my own video to see how to get this. Retino. Yeah, Retina. I thought I thought it was called Retino. Um, is it not? Is it not on Curse Forge? Uh, resolution. Let me just find. Resolution control. Is that it? Retain. Retin. Retina. Retain. <laughs> no. Uh, is this resolution? Resolution control allows you to. Is a fork of resolution control. <laughs> There's all these guys forking stuff. Resolution control plus. Resolution control plus plus. Um, we can change render resolution separately. Render scale. Okay. I know it's, I know it's retin, I know, I know it's the word retina, but the mod is called retino, isn't it? Minecraft mod retino. Yeah, retino. But it... Uh, high DPI. Yeah, this mod's gone. Where's this mod gone? It used to be really good. This mod makes Minecraft render at half resolution on retina displays. I think it's just out of date. Retina. Okay. Um, it's th yeah, I can see in my Google search. Yeah, it hasn't been updated to the correct version. So, yeah, it's only it's, it's I, I'm on a t I'm on a version that's of Minecraft that's too advanced for it. Um, let's try resolution control. It's just, I think it'll do the same thing. Let's try this one. This version of Minecraft is pretty new. Okay, let's launch. Let's go back and let's see if I can tweak the settings. And then I'm going to try shaders and then we'll move on to reading or some other, some other crap. Okay, good. So I, I have to tweak full screen. So if I, if I full screen here, it's not working. But if I do this and then I do this, now it's working. Okay. And then um, let's look at mods to resolution control. Uh, this does not really help me very much. Okay, let's do shaders. Let's do shaders. Okay, so um, I need iris. Wait, what do I need? Sodium. Let's do sodium. Okay, let's do sodium. What, I can't remember what the difference between iris and sodium is. And iris. And uh, then let's grab... I think we're okay. Um, I, I'll test it at 4K. It doesn't really matter. I just want to know a metric for this. Okay, so... Um, Silda Vibrant Shaders. Let's let's go. Okay, that this is kind of an ad filled website, isn't it? Okay, great. Which one do we want to use? Let's use high. Vibrant shaders high? Yeah, let's do it. Um, 
Okay, wait five seconds. This is content, guys. I'm downloading a mod. Mod download. Famously optimized. Our sodium, hydrogen, lithium, phosphorus, and maybe you're just listing elements. <laughs> These Minecraft mod names are hilarious. Okay, so the the ad filled link is taking me to a a page which is just not working. Hmm. Okay, what is, what's in a good alternate shader to work? Complementary shader. Okay, I've never, complementary shader Minecraft. Please be warned, some of these have, you are right. I should install a, a, an ad blocker. You're completely right. Ad guard. Yeah, let's do that. It's like the curse of um, the internet when you have mods and emulation and all that stuff. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, so we are ad blocked. Okay, let's get comp. I've never, I've never used complementary shaders before. Um, Let's not use the installer. Let's use the manual download. Complementary reimagined. Juan, hey man, how's it going? It's going good, thank you. Why did Asahi switch from Arch, Arch, is it Arch or Arc? Arch to Fedora, no idea. Any Linux nerds want to Want to uh, reply? Let me know. Okay, good. So I've never, I've never unzipped anything in this before. How do you unzip? Extract. How to install? <laughs> go to, go to CurseForge. I think reimagined looks better. Okay, let's look reimagined. Let's do reimagined. Okay, let's just delete everything apart from this. Delete, delete, delete. Can't find delete. Waste bin, waste bin. Okay, waste. Uh, extract to this subfolder. Okay, so where do shaders go? Oh, you can keep the shaders. Yes, I completely forgot. We don't need to do this waste bin. Let's cut and then paste this into Prism um, shader packs. Oh, there's a download shaders button. Are you kidding me? Reimagine. Okay, this is reimagined. I love Prism Launcher. It's just so much easier than dealing with all these stupid websites. But I can imagine that, you know, if you if your only source of revenue is some ad. From a, from a from a dodgy website, then that might be the only way to to get this working. Marzillion, okay, guy, bye guys, thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate you coming in. Okay, okay, this is better. This is I, I like this um interface a lot more for for uh, this stuff. Okay, can't see what I'm doing. Shader packs. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here. Full screen off. And then for some reason, if I push this here and then I press full screen again, that seems to full screen correctly. Uh, 12, I normally test that at 12, 12, 12. Just got in the habit of doing that for a while. It's just easier to, to see. Perform, uh, advanced shader packs. Okay, so let's let's load up my world again. Turn down the UI scale is too big. Okay, good point. Well, that's too small. Oh, that's really too small now. Five, let's try five. 
It's okay then. Five. Okay. Game is going at like, I think the render distance is not enough. I think I want a, a bit more. So when I test this, I'll, I'll try and do this all the same. 20. Let's do 20. Is that 20 good? I want to see, I want to see into the far distance. 32. Still really good. 500 frames per second. Oshin Vats, thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, Oshin. If you have anything you want me to say or any questions, then let me know. I'm uh, really happy to answer any questions, especially people who support the channel. If you are a member, I really appreciate that too. It's really nice to have a recurring income from uh, these kind of streams too. Not just one-offs, but thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, good. So um, so this is at 32 rendered chunks. Okay, I'm going to turn it down so that we have bigger numbers. Go to 18, okay. 18, that's good. Most people don't, aren't like looking that far in the distance. Okay, so this is like a vanilla. Okay, uh, let's get the let's get a nice view going. Like kind of like, it's a sorry looking so orange. Okay, let's get a bit higher, get a nice view. It's kind of ugly this uh, desert desert biome here. Okay, good. So um, five hundred and seventy eight FPS. Okay, good. So let's go into shader packs and let's load up. And click apply. Okay. Now that looks substantially better. Frame rate has tanked a lot. 30 frames per second. But the graphics look way better. I think maybe if I turn down the uh I tweak the render distance back. I'm going to pump this back to 12. Still, we're still at 30. We're still at 30 FPS. Kind of. Let's go back. Oh, Mac Pro Tips, thank you for joining the channel. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chats. Really appreciate it. This stream will go into the history books. Uh, I'm not sure it will. <laughs> I mean, this version of Silent has been out for like a couple of weeks. I had other videos I had to take care of first, but I'm glad I'm managed to be able to do this anyway. Oshin Vats, hey Andrew, how do you install Arkham Asylum on macOS? Every time I do is complete and utter failure. Arkham Asylum, you mean Arkham Knight? Because Arkham Asylum works on the Mac. Um, if I'm correct, Arkham Asylum has a macOS version. So um, that should work fine. If you mean Arkham Knight, then cross over with uh, D3D Metal as the way. It's a little bit, a little bit stuttery, but it does work. Okay, shift, P. change the profile in shader settings. Okay, I'm not aware of that you could do that. No way. Uh, I had no idea. I'm so, I'm so glad I'm live streaming this because I had no idea that you could actually do this. Okay, profile high, very high ultra potato. <laughs> very low, medium, let's try medium. I had no idea that there was a, um, a settings menu on this. Does Silders have a settings menu? I had no idea. RP support. What on earth is RP support? Changes internal calculations determine how different blocks and materials will be rendered. Okay. Visual style reimagined or unbound? Unbound reworked. Semi realistic fantasy style. What? Okay, 30, 36 FPS. Wow, this, this water looks great. I know it's, um, the colors are wrong, but uh, it looks great. This is the M1 Max chip though. You're kind of expecting this to, let's try and find a, let's try, to, let's try and find a performance profile, which is gonna be, um, which is gonna be uh, working at roughly 60 FPS. Cause that's kind of, Let's go reimagined. What's PBR?
basic. Let's try, let's go back to medium. Let's just apply this. Okay, Oshin Vats, thank you. You don't have to keep super chatting me, but I really appreciate it if you do. Arkham Asylum Mac OS is 32-bit and thus gone. Okay. Um, let me see. Asylum. Let me see if I can. I'll, 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 let me just look this up. Arkham. Uh, Batman. Arkham Asylum Mac. This is definitely playable right on a Mac. I'm sure it is, because I've done videos on this in the past. Yeah. Arkham Asylum or Arkham City? Arkham Origins. Arkham City is the macOS port. Arkham Asylum is the older, I think it's the older, it's definitely the older game, isn't it? From 2010. Okay. Well, Ocean Bats, this week, maybe next week, I'm going to investigate this and see which is the best way to run this, probably through Parallels or maybe Crossover. Crossover has some. There are also big improvements with um, with, with Crossover 32-bit support. So um, I will, if you if you watch my second channel, um, Oshin, if you watch my second channel, I will do some investigation and, and make a gameplay video for Arkham Asylum and see what the best way to run that particular game on a Mac is. Okay, got this squid, guys. Um, let me just change my frame. Let me just change the mod setting so I can actually see what is uh, the actual color, text color, shadow. Yes, I need a shadow because I can't see what the hell's. Yeah, there's a bit more contrast on that. Okay, so the shader, um, so the shader setting is reimagined medium basic. It is still, let me just try low. Okay, thanks, Oshin Vats. Okay, look, I mean, low looks amazing still either. I mean, we don't have the um, the cool water, but we still have these nice reflections. Let's put, the, let's try, um, let's try something slightly medium -er low. Okay, so, um, Plus, you get more FPS if you play online instead of single player. I think it's because you're hosting the game locally. Yes, that's true. If um, it's the same, it's the same with whoop, it's the same with all of these games, Pal World, Minecraft. Because I'm hosting and playing, then I'm going to get lower frame rates. But it's a useful thing to to have because a lot of people do play this game single player. Um, yeah, getting 45 FPS with this setting. Yeah, beautiful. Let's let's pump it back to very low again. Uh, Cool water comes from PBR being enabled. Uh, lab PBR, let's try that. Luca Lazeri says, loves the channel. Have you got any advice you could pass on to CS students? Computer science students. So thank you very much for the, the super chat. Um, basically, I never studied computer science, so I don't have advice for computer scientists. Now, computer scientists earn some, you know, if, you, if you're skilled in any kind of dev work, production work, you are basically on, on track for some of the highest salaries that you can possibly get. However, um, I think that a lot of people have trouble like holding down jobs, getting jobs, interviews, etc. cetera. Um, you know, if you, if you are less ambitious, a bit like me, <laughs> I like making tutorial videos for a living. You know, I love doing it. And uh, computer science, if you know how to use a computer as well as I do, which is barely at all, then uh, you can make a career out of like doing videos. You know, <laughs> there's, there, there's so many things that can be broken down on YouTube, um, which is useful. Like, just like um, 
a computer science coding skill, like you know, just setting up a visual, you know, a Visual Studio or something, setting up a coding environment, comparing the different, um, all of the different kinds of uh, codes, etc., code, coding environments, etc. All of these things are, you know, they they are. Whoop! Oh, I just destroyed the torch. They are con able. To, you can create content using it. Other than that. I think that for a large proportion of computer science students, it's you know that's a distraction. You should just focus on getting a, a job, earn 100k, earn 200k, earn 300k, work in finance. That's what I'd say. If I was, if I could turn back time, I might say, Andrew, use your technical skills, learn how to program properly, get a job in a bank, earn 300k a year, doing some like bank security mobile app or something. And you, you might you might be happier. I don't know. I I, I love doing what I do. So, um, but I I also recognize not everyone can do it too. Uh, but yeah. Okay, King Volpers, great name. Is that from? Is that a reference to uh, New Vegas? Fallout New Vegas. Do you ray tracing packs like rethinking voxels work? I know they don't work on Mac OS. I'm almost certain that they will not work on here. So I'm not going to even bother looking at this. Okay, so um, I'll be making a ray tracing video in the in the future because the M3. Okay, firstly, ray tracing hardware is only on the M3 generation of chips, and this is an M1 Max, and SI Linux won't work on M3 anyway. Um, so if there's ray tracing, it'll be software ray tracing, and it won't won't work. Okay. Um, okay. This resolution. Okay, now that I've installed Sodium and Iris. Uh, the iris um, makes, and I've turned on the interface, I can actually see the F3 properly. Um, ignore any kind of frame rate. You can't see the frame rate counter on the stream anyway, because my face is in the way. But we've got Sodium Renderer on 4.6, and we've got 4K resolution, 4.6. So yeah, this is this is working fine. Okay. So um, I wonder what else I can look at through here. Uh, I've just joined. What's a quick thought on Asahi? I'm, Enrico, I'm very impressed with how this works. Uh, I, but to be honest, the only way I'm actually going to be able to compare this properly, um, we we might actually find that macOS Minecraft runs slower than Asahi Linux, but just because um, you know they both use OpenGL, and if in this limited you know case, use case scenario, Asahi Linux might actually perform better. I won't know until I actually compare them properly. Strategy consulting requires a lot of data science teams, and we hire a lot of people with CS backgrounds, proper engineers, I mean. Yeah, proper engineers. I'll, I'll never, I'll, I don't have the, um, the forethought to really be a proper engineer. So this is a career path that's not really open to me. I trained as a, I, I did philosophy as a degree. I, I just love playing computer games and I love like tinkering. Tinkering is, is what I love doing. I'm not really a good builder. I'm not a good builder. I'm a tinkerer. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I think we are done with Minecraft for now. So I'm quite happy with the way the way that this is working. Let's try something else. So um let's close this. Okay. So I'm satisfied with that. I will do I'll have to do some like proper proper testing. Uh, I'll log into macOS, um, install Prism Launcher, take the exact same world, and we'll just benchmark them both. Uh, so I'll do that in the future. Okay. So next thing is, uh, let's just see my list of games. Uh, mind test. Okay. Let's see mind test. Let's see if I can get another ARM sixty four game working because uh, well, last time I did a. Uh, Last time I did a video, um, Crazy Blocks Dune 2016. We are way we are we are we're not able to emulate um, x86 64 bit games at the moment, so that's not really an option right now. I'm afraid. How do I download Mind Test? Okay, so we've got Flat Pack. Or what we really want is Fedora. I can tell you two games that don't work in macOS, Alan Wake 2 and Returnal, unless someone knows a way. Um, I think we're far away from 
we're, we're very far away from proper commercial games. Like the biggest commercial game we can try is Minecraft, which I've just tested. Uh, how do I how do I get this? It always perplexes me, like the the number of ways that you can download a game, on uh, download software on on um on a, on Linux. I don't really understand what I'm doing here. So like here we've got um a build, right? So, so this is like an automated build, I think. Uh, we've got the source code. I mean, I don't know why. We have the Arch A Arch sixty four. Is that the one I'm looking for? That's the ARM sixty four version. We've got the RPM. Uh, mine test. Okay, so what happens if I download? What is an RPM? What does that even mean? Can I install this? Package conflict found, okay. Someone can explain to me how to download mine test because they, I know that there's an ARM64 version. How did I do it last time? I did it using a, 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 a command, right? What was it? sudo dnf. Can I just do it through here? Oh, seriously, this is <laughs> package manager, of course, yeah. We we'll use the DNF package manager. So instead of Pac-Man for Arch, then check if KD Discover has Flatpak enabled in the settings. What is Flatpak? Isn't the Discover Center Flatpak? This is Flatpak, right? These are Fedora Flatpaks, but they just don't, they just don't have mind test for some reason. Okay, that's that's done. So let's look at mine test. Okay, good. Mine test. There's a weird full screen issue. Oh god! So this is I know it's rendering full k full k now because it's the, the interface is tiny. Let's download this. Oh. How do I do this? Let's make a new world. Sahi world. Is there like a no? Okay, let's let's just create. I think for flat pack, don't use flat pack as it uses its own drivers that aren't included in the Sahi world. Why would a flat pack have its own drivers? Okay. Okay, so the good news is that it's telling us we're using OpenGL 4.6, which is kind of what we're testing today. That's the, the latest version of the Asahi drivers, which have, um, you know, this, this is the major milestone. But I don't know why it's all black. Let's just see the settings. Why is it all black? There are no settings to speak of. Can't really tell. It's just like that. So POSCO BG, um, Flatpak is containerized and includes all dependencies. Flatpaks are ass, but I didn't install a Flatpak. I installed this from the, I installed this from the package manager, the, the, the Fedora package manager. So is that, is that correct? Probably streamlines things for people who forget to update the system. So, I mean, the, 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 um, okay, just try this one more time. Cause the main, I could see, um, the, uh, the, I could see the, the, you know, the first person arm, when you load this up for a second, I can see a little outline of a hand there, but it's okay. This ain't working. Okay. Move on, moving on. If anyone has any um, suggestions for other games I can test, let me know. Okay. K 
King Volpers, my main interest is that VR gaming could work one day in Asahi Linux. If VR could work on Steam Deck, then maybe. But I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see major uh, commercial games running on Asahi Linux anytime soon. Okay, good. Let's have a look at um, what else I can test. Is there anything else I can test? Ooh, real-time strategy game. This has a macOS port too. That's not gonna work. Zonotic, isn't that? Isn't this like a? Isn't this um, Quick Three? Quick Three engine game. These should all be. Oh yeah, Super Tux Cut. These should all be uh, ARM sixty four, right? So we've got flat pack version. What else have we got? Open TTD. Um, transport. Transport Deluxe. Yeah. Light emulation. Yeah, I, I tested out light emulation before. If you check out my last SI Linux uh, video, then that works. Ooh, Lugar Lugaru. Isn't this by the Humble Bundle guys? From a long time time ago. Westnoth. The battle for Westnoth. I don't understand why people like this game that much. <laughs> what else can we try? Sort by rating. So these are the oh never ball. Okay. Yuzu now supports ARM64 Linux. But now it does anyway. Yeah. Try Dolphin Emulator. I think um the one that I was gonna test is Ryujinx. So uh because that's the one I know works, right? Let me just check. Asahi Linux Ryujinx. That's from a year ago, wasn't it? Because um, I've heard it works. Maybe we'll do Ryujinx. Okay. Ryujinx on 64 Linux. Um, let's check out Yuzu as well. So I've never actually installed Yuzu, so I'm not 100% not sure how to do it. I'm much more familiar with Ryujinx, of course, because it works on a Mac. Okay. Isn't Nintendo full on trying to kill Yuzu? Yes. Yuzu is is gonna get obliterated. So, so the thing about Yuzu is that they they've just entered a a a, uh, a loss. They've had a lawsuit filed against them by Nintendo. And uh, yes, I understand. Part of the problem is the fact that they are receiving about I think it's about thirty thousand dollars a month for Patreon access, okay? So you could argue that, I'm sure Nintendo's team will argue that um, they this could be a component, and it's not the main thing that they're, the, the, the Nintendo are basically claiming that Yuzu are benefiting from like um, decryption tools for, for like pirating N Nintendo games, like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is named specifically. But um, you know they 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 make a lot of money, and people are saying, "Oh yeah, we can just crowdsource their legal costs." Legal costs are so much. Like a lawyer, like a Nintendo lawyer, is probably being paid like probably billing like three hundred dollars an hour, five hundred dollars an hour, something like that. And you have got like a whole team of people trying to shut this down because I think that you know people are saying, "Oh no, it's emulation is isn't piracy. It's not. It's not piracy. It has an effect. I think it has." A non-negligible effect. Like most people who who um, who play games, emulate games, are probably not paying customers, but some of them are, right? Maybe it's as low as ten percent, but it, it, you know, it, it's it's enough to make a dent, probably millions of dollars worth of losses in the end, right? And so, um, and people say, oh yeah, they probably banked a load of money that this LLC in America, but uh, it ain't enough. You you need millions to defend against Nintendo, so I do, I do not I do not um, I do not envy this team uh, for what they've done, and I'm sure that if they're successful against Yuzu, then they'll be successful. They'll they'll do something against Regents as well. Regents is a bit more um, a bit more kind of careful with this stuff, I think. Okay, so let's try set up Regents. Um, what is the difference between 
GNU Linux and GNU Linux. Oh, x86-64. Okay, the wrong one. I want this one. I don't know why I'm down. Should I get on FlatHub? When I said Alamake 2 and Returnal, I was not asking if you could run them in the Sinus, but Mac OS, I tried crossover, but I guess MacBooks lack the CPU instructions. Yeah, AVX instruction is the issue. Rosetta 2 doesn't support it and probably never will. Should I be downloading the FlatHub version of this? Can I get... Is this in the Discover Center? No. No, okay. There ain't an easy way to do this. Let's look at my downloads folder. So I'm ready. See, I've got my I've got my uh, emulation folder up on my NAS. Uh, Ryu Jinx. Uh, we don't want the X64 version. We want the ARM64? Is this the way to do it? How do I how do I run this? You can use Oculus for shaders, distant horizons on 1.20.2. I tested it yesterday and was really nice. MacOS MC runs slightly faster and is slightly cooler. I tested this pretty recently. Okay, thanks, Kessler. But AVX works through Proton, right? It's not a Proton issue, it's a CPU issue. Um how do I how do I what annoys me about um Linux is that I don't I never you know you, you have an application, I just want to double click on it. Oh, I can double click. Execute. Oh, I can just do it like this. Is this the right method? Am I doing the right thing? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. So I've got my let me let me get my let me get my my title keys and prod keys, which I definitely um extracted from my jailbroken switch, which I do have one of. Uh let's get my files ready. Got my firmware. Uh, here we are. Firmware, prod, and title keys. Okay, good. Let's put this on my desktop. On my NAS. Okay, good. So let's see. Um, install. Okay, so I need to put the prod keys in the correct place. Okay, good. So I've got my desktop. So let's put the prod key. These normally go in the system folder, right? And then the firmware I can just install from Readings Direct. Uh, install firmware from a directory. And then my desktop, sorry. Okay, open here. Installing firmware 17.0.0. Okay, so that should say install here. So Yorick says the best method is to prioritize the package manager than the or repository, then a flat pack install. Okay. Um, post this as a story later. YouTube will. Okay, I will make this. This is like B-roll for my for my main video. I'll be doing one based on this. Uh, why why is this not working? And rec, thanks for the support to the community, the tutorials, and the entertainment. Okay, very glad that uh, you enjoyed watching me. Um, I'm glad that you find this entertaining. I do like struggle a little bit trying to get this stuff to work. Like, for example, trying to get this firmware to to. Uh... Oh, I clicked no. Okay, this is why this is why I'm live streaming this because I'm an idiot. Clicked no. <laughs> yes, I was like, what? Why isn't this installing? God, on it app page or FlatHub, you have command lines to use. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Elio and Ben, for pointing that out, that I did it like twice. Okay, so um, let's see if I can get this working. So I've got the firmware working. So uh, where are the settings? Settings. 
Okay, so let's add my game directory. Can I add my, can I add my, uh, uh, this, this, this stuff confuses me so much. Like why are there so many things? Well, I'm trying to get my volume. Okay, so what I need to do is do what I do on a Mac, which is basically I go into my network and I go to my so that in it. Where is my thing? So I'm gonna add my emulation folder to the to the places. Does that help? Remote emulation. And so when I go into reusing settings, click add. Okay, then there. How do I get onto this? Can I not add can I not add a NAS? Can I not add a uh, another location? How do I add my media folder? What's the media folder? Uh, the next file system is nuts. I mean, I, I find it nuts that um, you can just you can just uh, access the system files and just delete everything, you know, from your operating system. It's pretty crazy. Okay, don't understand what I'm doing here. Let's just um, okay, fuck it. Let's just do it from. Let's get my switch. Let's do something a little bit less demanding than Tears of the Kingdom. What's a good game to test out? Uh, the... Super Mario Wonder should work at 60 FPS on base, on Redinx on a, on a Mac OS. But I, I'm very, I'm very, um... oh yeah, I can copy and paste the path. Can I do that? It is SMB. It, it just depends on the, the dialogue here. Can I do this? There's no place to enter the URL here. Can't enter a, I can't enter a, an interface. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just do it the, the, the simple way. I'm just gonna paste this to my desktop. So it only takes 40 seconds, so it's fine. The next file system is the reverse of Windows. Instead of the system being secluded to a folder, the entire file system is the system, and instead the user folder is secluded. Why? I guess for Linux users, you know, you want to be able to tweak your operating system as easily as possible. But for I, I can only see that going wrong for the majority of people. I can't see that as a benefit. Hiding it's better, right? Like like on macOS, you want it, you want user folders, you want system folders to be accessible, but like part of, um, you want it to be like part of the actual, uh, you, you want like an option to be able to get there. So you do have the option. Okay. I'm, I'm expecting this to run badly because it's not been optimized for, um, for this. Uh, is there a different version of Reujinx? Let me know. Oh, Minecraft, Minecraft does work well. It works almost as well as Mac, I think. I'll have to test it out properly. Let's go to settings. Let's add my desktop as a uh, as an actual location. Okay, that's a bit funky. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's added my firmware file folder. Let's just delete you. Uh, how did I delete this? Waste bin. I always find that funny. Why is that? Why the waste bin? Let's just uh, close this. Okay, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Okay, let's see if this works. 
The Nazis prefer control over security. Yeah, I guess so. It'd be a miracle if this works. There's no way this will work, right? Did that just crash? Yeah, I think that just crashed. Let me try again. I'm using the Vulcan backend. Yeah, I need to. Ch I need to change settings. Like, what games should I be testing on? On uh, on readings. Oh yeah, this Vulcan is never going to work. Um, I mean, what will work? I'd have to find a game which, which uses the um, the. No, this is really working. Really? Needs to change the GPU. Something's working. GPU Mesa. What is that? Isn't that correct? If I go... I've got two regences open. Okay, good. Go to... Uh... So graphics... Okay, so do I have to change something here? Graphics of multi-threading. Prefer GPU. There is no option for this. So maybe I should try a less demanding game. What game would work? What game would work? Something really simple. Because you want something with open, which only uses features from OpenGL. What would work? Yes, I installed the keys correctly. It boots correctly. It's just something is uh, not working. Um, it was a kind of long shot. This is like a really advanced game. Um, Yuzu. Okay, I'll try Yuzu in a minute. Uh, but there's something there's something in my list of in my huge list of games which should work. I don't have Vampire Survivor. I don't want to download it right now. Uh, let's see what I've got. Something 2D, maybe? What have I got? Which is 2D. Mm. Something 2D. Should have found some, Should have got something 2D earlier. Dolphin is in the official repo. What does that mean, official repo? If I type in Dolphin. Oh yeah, okay, let's do this. Rayman. Rayman's not really 3D. Sorry, not really 2D. It's still 3D, but uh, let's try it. Doom is simple. Doom 2016 ain't. Simple, let's just close this. Searcher probably you will have more success. Dead cells. Okay. Let me just wait for this to load up correctly. Let's just try everything. What is this? SMTV. Shin Genmi. Ignore the file paths. These definitely came from my jailbroken switch. <laughs> OG Doom. D DNF search dolphin in terminal. Okay. Is that going to be different from the discover version? Let's check out this. It's very confusing that we have Dolphin Farm Manager and a Dolphin Emulator. Oh, we've got Dolphin. Yeah, OpenGL. That's cool. Can't set a path here.
TF2 doesn't work on Apple. Yeah, TF2 got a, a Windows X64 bit update, so it's uh, I've I've heard that it it um, runs really well through crossover now. Do I have to copy my? Wait, let me just get my. Let me just get my uh, my Wii games work on here too. Any chance that eGPUs would be available? People ask me about eGPUs all the time, and you know what? I, I just say the same thing. The Mac Pro had what, what, like eight eight PCIe ports on the on the motherboard, and not a single one could accept um, classically compatible graphics cards. So if it is if it ain't going in the, in the Mac Pro, then it's it's not happening. Okay. Let's try. Well, oh, it boots. Raymond Legend is booting. Uh, how do I see the frame rate? How do I look at frame rate? Where is the frame rate counter? Does anyone know what the frame rate counter of the regions is? Ah, that's amazing. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. We've got frame rate counter, 60 frames per second. I don't know why this full screen thing is doing that. Okay, full screen, Raymond Legends is working. Okay. Oh, it's amazing. This is amazing that it's running the menu at 60 frames per second. This is very cool. This is very, very, very cool. Um, the question is, can I get input? So, um, could I get Bluetooth to work? Could I get my DualSense to work? Let's, let's see. I'm not confident this is going to work. Okay, put in the pairing mode. Plus, can I see a DualSense? Can it, can, can... Can this accept a dual sense controller? Why have I got so many Bluetooth devices near me? I don't think Asahi Linux will actually see. Oh, here we are. Wireless controller. What? Okay, blue light. Blue, blue solid light means we are paired up. This is good. Ooh, can I get in focus? So that's good news. Okay, so can I get this to work with my input settings? So I want, hmm, it's not detecting my controller. Maybe I'll just quit and then just, if I can't get this to work, I'll just use keyboard because it's not that important if I use a controller or not. I don't like how the, the, the no is on the right or on the left. Okay, if I if I just uh, can I can I configure an input? I think this is more like a reuting issue. On the way they've they've implemented SDL. Um but okay. Well we we'll do we'll we'll do it with this. Uh, ZX ZX C V and then left stick E U Q O. Okay, let's just test this out and see if this works. Yeah, we rebooted the emulator and it ain't working. Okay. Well, seriously cool that this is working. I wonder if Doom will work better because Doom doesn't really work very well on um, on 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 macOS with um you know modern VK Doom Eternal. Okay, let's do it. So, um, the dumb dino. Goodbye, I'm heading to bed now. 
getting pretty late for me. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Really appreciate it. I have to press a button on the PS4 controller for, really? For regions to recognize it. Um, let me just trust this. Now it's not, it's not, it's not showing me any alternative input devices, but it ain't no big deal. I'm not really, I don't really care about input because that's probably something that regions can fix. Um, this is very cool that this is working. I just need the input settings to show me. Can I skip? I'll put this here so I can actually see what the keys are. Okay. Is the audio stuttering or is it smooth? Just turn the volume up. I, I can't seem to pipe through the sound through the HDMI through my capture card. It's a bit crackly. Okay, so um, the key, what's the, where's the start button? Left stick triggers E, E, R, Q. Isn't there like a start key to skip everything? What's the button for this? Oh, plus minus, there we are, plus. So A, the A key is Z. So no game audio for you guys. Sorry about that. And I've got, I've got on my microphone, I've got, um, I've got like a noise suppression. So I'm not seriously impressive. This is working. I'm sorry that the colors are just wrong, but on, on screen here, it looks fine. Uh, it's just an HDMI thing. So, so as far as I can tell, the sound is looking good. EAFC Sports 24. Okay, I'll try that at some point. So we are at 60 frames per second. And Rudinx is working on Linux bare metal. Ouch. Can your capture device use a 3.5 millimeter jack? Yes, uh, no, it cannot. I could, I could hook it up but I, it's just not worth the effort you're here to hear my voice my beautiful voice not the sound of this game don't need that i don't really know anything about this game but i i like how it's uh, the sound is uh smooth from my end I'm just playing it through the macbook speakers how do i get past this guy No in-game sound. I'll just try and get past this dude. And then maybe I'll try a different game. No 3D games under Wii U Jinx. I don't know, actually. I'll try it. I'll try... Um... So I'm supposed to hit this guy with a thing. He's slapping him. Okay. I don't want to play this anymore. I don't even like this game. But anyway, uh, let's try a different game. Let's try um, action stop emulation. Okay, Doom Eternal. Fitting to the menu. I mean, it was just Super Mario Wonder, which is not working. So it could be that this could work. Maybe. I think it just crashed. Too much to hope for getting Doom Eternal to work. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, crushed. Uh, let's... OK, 
Okay, fill it up with some crap. Four minutes remaining. Okay, let's try a different game. See, I'm using the same switch keys as I do on macOS. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure it works. It's, not, it's not, never really to do with this, the keys. It's never really to do with the keys anyway, the compatibility. Because the keys just allow you to open the game. It wouldn't open um, if you didn't have the correct keys. Okay, good. This is working. Breezy. Okay, it's working. I think you can drag your emulation folder to desktop and choose the link here. Okay, that's a good idea. So we don't copy everything over by accident. Did they just tell it to copy everything? I hope they didn't just tell it to do that. Did I just... Paste, can I paste one item? How do I paste the link? Did I just make it just copy everything? Just... Device battery low. What? One low battery. How's that possible? Wait a sec, I should probably do something. Low battery. I need to charge up via because I'm because normally I don't test this much. I'm used to the MagSafe. So I just plugged in my MagSafe instead. I don't really use MagSafe to charge. Good thing I checked this notification window. Am I really on 5%? Oh, geez. Okay, anyway, this... Okay, this is working. This is cool. Again, 60 frames per second. There is a button that says copy that location. Okay. I remember playing this game on, um, what is it, Super Nintendo, right? Okay, I'll try, I'll try copying the location in a minute. Oh, battery notification was for controller. Okay, good. Really? Oh, wireless controller. Okay, oh, my Mac is fine. My Mac is fine. Thank you very much, Acceleration 3. This is why I'm live streaming this, because I'm too too idiotic to realize what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's do this. I know this is a 2D game, but it is 3D. A lot of 3D elements are being rendered here. It's just not a very complex 3D game. I mean, and Raymond as well, that it uses a 3D graphics engine to get this to work. I mean, this is not a 2D only game. So I can see like a lower frame right here. It was like four, if I look here, it's, if you look at the frame rate counter, it's 30 now for some reason. It's all, I'm just, 
it's it's like 30. That's 20. Can it run Steam games? We're we are far from running Steam games because we don't have an X8664 bit emulator. Uh, integrated into Asahi Linux. So we need effects or micro VM to get gaming to work. Okay, frame rate's getting a bit lower too. So I can see a slowdown here, 20 FPS, 25 FPS. But I don't consider this a um, a problem because it's it's just like seriously impressive that this even works. I'm just seriously impressed that this works. The glow from Windows is why the FPS is low. Let's full screen this bad boy. And let's just make sure that we've got nothing else running in the background because I've got I've got I've got these things running. CPU load. Let's see. Rejinx is taking up the majority of the CPUs. That's the real issue here. We're only using five gigabytes of memory, so it's fine. It's Linux though. Does Wine and Proto not work? Um, they could work as long as uh, we had a game which was ARM64, but we don't have a game which is ARM64. Windows games, there are almost no ARM64 Windows games that couldn't also work on Linux too. Take the chain. You're right. Bye and thanks, Andrew. Thanks. I really appreciate you joining the stream. Thank you. And maybe I'll see you next time. Shader compile. This is not shader compilation stutter. It's not even stuttering, it's just low frame rate. When Vulkan is supported by Asahi Linux, it will work better than on macOS. Yeah, I completely agree. Then we have fewer translation layers. We don't have to translate via Metal, Molten VK. I did attack the chain. I did attack the chain. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's that's uh, Super Mario Wonder work. Uh, Super Mario RPG working. Oh, it, it did work. I did, I did do it. Does Minecraft work well with shaders? Pop out, if you check out earlier in the stream, like an hour ago, I did test with shaders and works great. I will be doing a direct comparison at some point. When I enlarged the window, it got slow. I think it will slow anyway. If I change this to, to handheld mode, it decreases the resolution, I think. 10 Vsync off, now on. If it's handheld mode, it should be high frame rate. Okay, so that's Super Mario RPG. That's a game that works pretty much full speed on um pretty much works full speed on on Mac. Pop out, thank you, Andrew. Okay, that ain't working. No surprise. No surprise that that's not working. Um, okay, what else can we do? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, let's see if I can try that. I, I really doubt these games will work. Some of them are just, uh, let's see. What game was that? Super Smash Brothers. Let's try the base game. Oh, you can link here. Control Shift. Let's just copy here.
control shift copy the link location yeah i tried doing i tried to copy this into here can i paste this here doesn't want to add I'm pressing return if i click add it opens up this uh directory location Can I, you can't see in the Linux file system, you can't see my SMB folders, can you? Sorry, Jonathan, I can't tell you where to get ROMs from, but it's very easy to find online. <laughs> but you should really be doing it from your jailbroken switch. Okay, I don't know why I can't do this. Okay. Try the mount folder. Okay, let's try that. Because it's technically not mounted, it's just uh, MNT. Uh, let's see. It's not actually mounted. How do I mount it? Mount folder? No. Add to places, already did this. It's just the Reujinx uh, dialog just doesn't want to put the thing here. Can't seem to create a shortcut. I don't really understand how Fedora works, so I'm not sure why that's not working. Okay. Okay, let's try a different game. Didn't I just copy something over? Um. Something's copying. Ah, oh, so Smash Brothers. Anything else I've got in my list? Doom. Yeah, I got Doom. Oh, wait, is that Doom Doom? No, it's not the right Doom. Well, I could try Doom as well, because this is Doom 2016. Okay, let's try Super Smash. Let's have a look here. What's wrong with this? It's a raw file. Whoops, copied the wrong thing over. Extract. Well, what's good news is that this does extract, which is nice. Okay, good. Okay, let's read Jinx. Let's just wait for that to finish. And let's just try Dolphin. Uh, Mario Kart Wii. Hey, it works. Jit Arm 64. That's good. Which hardware works on which settings? Which hardware on which settings? So if you have an M1 or M2 Mac, basically it'll work. But if you don't have an M... If you don't have an M1 or M2, it won't work on an M3, I'm afraid. If the search of Google had to mount an SMB folder in a folder through the terminal. Cannot be bothered right now. Okay. Ooh, can we do native? Nice. Hey, so uh what version of OpenGL is this? Because I'm pretty sure this didn't work before. Um, Dolphin, Dolphin Emulation OpenGL version. So I think this uses OpenGL 4.4, .4, is that right? Vulkan 1.1? Like, it'll still work, but... Uh, How do I actually use this? Okay, go to config.
Okay, I don't think I'll have to be on keyboard control now. Uh, let's see. X. Let's see, X. Have you tried any OpenGL 4.3 games, for example, Iron Wall, Quake Source Port? Okay, I'll try that um, if I can in a minute. But once I get this to work, why isn't this working? Yeah. The A button is X. So, well, the good news is that it is emulating. So this, these are in-game graphics. So I am satisfied it's working. I don't need to actually play it to know it's working. Ugh. Can I, can I full screen it? Okay, this is cool. I like that this is working. Open GL. I just can't get the controls to work. The controllers are working here. So I can I can remap my A key here, but I can't press A here. So pressing the X key, which should be A, not working. But it's cool that it's cool that we can get Dolphin working. Dolphin is working, so you can play all of the you can play all of the Wii and GameCube games. As soon as control support gets added to Asahi Linux, I suppose. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Dolphin, I'm satisfied. Uh, let's just try a couple more Regents games if I can get them to load up correctly. Uh, what have we got? Original Doom. I, I really don't think it's going to work. I really, really don't think it's going to work. I'll go through the menu, but uh, it might be because of setting up GameCube. I'm pretty sure it works with a GameCube controller too. Okay, I'll try. I'll try it again in a second. This is why I have you guys um, helping me stream this because this is makes it a lot easier. I've 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 already found a very good use for chat so far. There's a lot of things which. The chat has caught, which I did not see. Okay. So uh, Doom does work on um, on the macOS side, but it just runs really badly, and it works better on the one point zero version than it does on all the other versions. Uh, so this should so uh, Z is is uh, why can't I interact here? Is it just crashed? Wait a sec. Can't seem to actually interact with this. I think I might have crashed. No, it's still rendering. I can't seem to interact with this game. I'm trying to press the X key and uh, to, to confirm this and use license. It would be nice to see this rendering. Let's just check the, the in-game settings, input settings again. Let's try direct keyboard access. No, doesn't like it. Does that change anything? Let's just try this again. So Shanine, try crossover. Crossover ain't gonna work, not without um, substantial changes. In um, because we need to get, we basically need to get, whoop, we basically need to get some kind of x86 64 bit emulation working. So the inputs on this definitely work because um, I just can't get past this EULA. 
I'm not running OBS, I'm running, I'm streaming through a streaming computer. I'm using Capture Card to do this, which is why the colors look a little bit funky on the screen. So these are the true colors on the actual MacBook screen, but what you're seeing is different. But my, you know, I've been looking at this for a while through my OBS window and um, I've actually like gotten used to it. Can I try Team Fortress 2? Um, unless Team Fortress 2 has an ARM64 version, then it ain't gonna work. The TF2 ARM64. No. It have to be emulated. Yeah, I'm not gonna. This is not going to. It's not gonna work. I don't know why I can't get this to in, to interact correctly. Okay, Redux works. So satisfied with this so far. Okay, let's check out some of the other games that I've installed through the Discover Center. Um, let's see, sort by... Can't I just sort by what I just downloaded? There's all this other stuff. Can I launch this? Zero AD. So this is um one of these... Uh, this is one of these open source strategy games. So we've got an OpenGL back end. Um, let's see if I can get this working in, in uh, full screen. So weird thing is that's full screen on my Mac, but not, not on the stream, which is weird. But uh, let's just have a look. Got a OpenGL ARB. Legacy backend now, just normal OpenGL from us. My mouse is bounded here. Okay, this does work. Let's just let's just play a bit. Okay, let's start this campaign. Let's start a game. Okay, so. Do only ARM native games work? I suppose, yes. Only ARM. I don't know why this is full screen here, but not, it's full screen on my Mac screen, but on the stream, I can still see the desktop, which is a little bit weird. I think this is like a, an Age of Empires 2 kind of clone, uh, open source clone. A lot of work has gone into this and it's playable on virtually everything, uh, which is very cool. I like that. It's nice to have these open source games, but it's a bit like Battle of Wesnoth or, you know, these other games. I don't think they're that good. Like when you have a, the problem with free games, right, is that they compete with all, all games really, right? And then, then it becomes a question of time. Like, you know, you can play, um, you can play Starcraft, for example, you can play Starcraft. Uh, the original game is free, I think. Is it free? Starcraft Remastered? It's like free, right? And so that's like an excellent, if you've never played that before, having a fully voiced cinematic campaign um, is probably better than playing a free open source game with like quite limited uh, graphic, graphical fidelity and production value. You know, it's a labor of love, but you know, this is, this is kind of, um, yeah. This version of KDE might have a bug with mirroring. I'm beginning to see that. I mean, the colors of through the HDMI are wrong. Even if I, I did try it earlier with like single display mode as well. So it's not just mirroring, but uh, it's, it's minor because you can still see it, but it's, it's there. It's working. It's a dock. I don't know how to play this game. I'm not really interested in learning it, but I can see that um, what it is. Okay, cool. So. Good, I'm happy with that. How do I quit out of this menu? Okay, exit. Okay, zero AD works. I wonder if other emulators or other games work. Well, Battle for Wesnoth, let's not bother with that. What are those other games that I tried? Got so much stuff installed on this. Zonotic. This is a uh, the Quake Three 
type. Sonotic is a quick three thing, right? Okay. Okay. I need to select a name. Andy Tizer. Okay, I can't see. I can't see the screen. Okay, let's see. This looks promising. Um, let's see if I can get Okay, let's see if I can full screen this here. No? Yeah, that's better. And then now if I change this to full screen. No, I'm still doing the same thing. Let's turn the resolution down. Yeah, this, let's, let's put it in this 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It's better for the stream. Okay, and then let's change the input settings. Invert. Yes, I'm an inverted player. Ooh, can I play actual multiplayer? Do people really play this game? Proton works. Does it work? Can you run Proton like Steam Book? No, you cannot because it requires an x86 64 bit emulator. How about battery life? No idea what the battery life is like. I haven't tried it yet. PP, SSPP, I'm sure that'll work too. Can I? Is this on the Discover Center? I need to search. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it will work. It's just downloading a map, I think, because uh, I've got PPSSPP um, ARM64. Uh, and shrouded it, it's not going to work. Ooh, okay, we've got something. I think I know what's wrong because the screen mirroring, right, is cut off here. So I can see, I can't see my clock here, but I can see a clock on the stream. So yeah, it's something wrong with the mirroring, which is fine. Okay, this looks like a, I thought this was a Quake game. It looks more like, it looks more like a Unreal Tournament. Let me just turn. That's music. You can hear can you hear that in the in the stream? Okay, so um let's see here. Can I not oh yeah, I can play. Okay. Whoa. Is that my teammate or am I I don't know, it's definitely not my teammate. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is tweak. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is to tweak my um, filter. I'm going to turn off my noise. No, I'm going to go to my wave three, and I'm going to turn off um, the filtering. Okay. So what you, I've turned off the filtering for my uh, microphone. And um, I'm also going to turn off the noise gate temporarily so you can kind of hear everything, okay? You might hear my wife in the background uh, typing on a keyboard. Okay, <laughs> that's not good. That's just, um, I need to turn up my game s in into input settings. Sensitivity needs to go up a bit. Okay, good. 
Oof, unstoppable. <laughs> okay, Twitch, Twitch games. This game is looking a lot more red than it should be. I'm not even sure this game should be looked like this. Is this a rendering bug? Or is it just the, the design of this game? Ah, fragged again. Is this like a rail gun? This is like the goo gun from um, from Unreal Tournament. Do do do. I can't tell what the frame rate is, but okay. Let's see. Is there a frame rate button? Let me see if there's a frame rate in here. There's, there doesn't seem to be a frame rate issue. Frame rate. Mwahaha. Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm getting completely destroyed here because I have no idea what this game is supposed to be in terms of all the weapons and stuff. But it does it does bring me back a lot of nostalgia for for Quake. I remember this feels exactly like Quake Three Stroke Unreal Tournament. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. I need one kill. Give me one kill, guys. Okay, great. I'm gonna quit out of this now. Thank you very much. So Zenotic working. Um, what what version of Zenotic does it use? Let me see. Zenot Zenotic OpenGL version. Oh, only 1.3. So it's cool, but not particularly impressive. It is like a you know, Quake Three was came out in 2000, 1999. <laughs> We're looking at the birth of the next Zenotic esports champion. I wish. There was a, such a thing. Maybe I could train for it. Uh, let's see. Flat pack. Can I install this from here? A flat pack. So I double click on the flat pack and then it loads a new repo. Is that through the Discover Center? Is that what how it works? Not responding, not a good sign. So no OpenGL 4.0. Yeah, 4.6 is working. I tested it with Minecraft. Um, if you have any suggestions for what I should be testing next, then let me know. I'm gonna turn on my noise gate again. Uh, so that might, the sounds a little bit better. So I try to like filter uh, as much noise as possible. Okay, let's install this bad boy. Okay. This is installing. What about Unreal Engine 4 and Unity cross-platform games? Aren't they run natively on ARM and x86 CPUs? For example, Albion Online. Um, I don't think Albion Online has an ARM64 version. That's like the Android APK, so not the same thing. If this PSP is gonna work, then I might I might try to get can we get God of War Ghost of Sparta working? Most UE and Unity games use Vulcan nowadays, yeah. Gonna charge my dual sense controller. Let's give this control of another world, I think.
can I get this to install properly? Doesn't want to install. Is there any PS4 emulator? Yes, there are PS there is a PS4 emulator for um for Windows. Uh not gonna work here today. Definitely not. Okay, well um, what else I can try? Can we get can we get PPSSPB working? The Dolphin works. Um, Reudinks works in for, for I'd say lower end games. Okay, good. Uh, let's get this to, uh, can we get it at 1080p? Mm. Let's get this to show the frame rates. FPS counter. And then we need uh, controls. Keyboard up, down, X, Z, A, S, space, and enter. Okay. Okay. So, Rhoda AU, I likely missed you saying, so the games have to be compiled for ARM, or are you able to use an x86 translation layer? So, that is something being worked on at the moment. So, there's something called FEX, and there's also... Um, the concept of our micro VMs. I don't. I don't. I don't have much detail about this, but but basically, x86 64 bit um, emulation like Rosetta 2 is not available to us at the moment, but I think it's being worked on. So in the future, Ooh, majorly stuttering on this. Yeah. Okay. Let's not. Let's not do. Let's not do four times. Uh, let's just do. Let's just do native. Yeah. Ooh, I don't think this is going to work very well. Even at native, we're only getting 6 FPS. But this is one of the more demanding titles. Yeah, this is not going to work. It's not very well anyway. Let's try something a bit more optimistic. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. It's like a PlayStation 1 game. I don't know what the name of the emulator for PS4 is. Um, it's not ready for macOS use anyway. So eight FPS, um, not not playable, not really. Okay, let's try it. Let's try something else. So this is um, a cutscene. So let, let's see, let's see it go in an actual game. Let's see if it get anywhere with actual gameplay. Can I run it on crossover or not? Nope. No way you'll be able to run a PS4 emulator through crossover. But you could get, um, yeah, RPCS3, PlayStation 3 emulation is pretty good these days on macOS anyway. So I think you might be quite impressed with that. Do you try to run on crossover? Nope. RPC SX is the PS4 emulator, but it's not good enough for any game at the moment, except maybe some homebrew. Thanks, Acceleration 3. So yeah, basically, PS4 emulation is... I mean, we only got PS3 emulation like a year and a half ago on a Mac. So it's still very, very early days for PS4. Uh, I haven't seen any compelling um, use cases for it yet. Okay. 
Let's see. I wonder what I should test after this because I've tested Minecraft. We've tested um, Minecraft. We've done some emulation. So Rejinx, Dolphin works. Um, we can see PPSSPP works, but it's not it's not fast enough to be considered playable. Whereas Rejinx, Rejinx is fast enough to be playable on a lot of 2D games. So that, that does work. I wonder what else I can test before calling this a night. Someone told me to like test out bug snacks, but I have no idea what that is. Let's just see these game settings. One to one open GL. It's only one option for the back end. We should probably enable auto frame skip so that we can actually get some actual performance out of this. Still only nine frames per second. It looks a bit too sharp for um, one to one. It looks a bit too sharp for for native resolution. I feel like it's it's rendering a much higher resolution. Like that looks too good. The PSP never looked like that. Let's play oh, one times PSP. That's probably correct. Oh, that's way better. Hey, thirty two FPS. That sort of works. Shanin Wasim, you can't test crossover. That's just not going to work. There is no, I don't even know how to install the Linux version of crossover. Okay, so we do have sort of playable frame rates on, on this. I, I, I don't have a right analog, I don't have the um, controls working. How do I get the character to move? So I want to be able to move keyboard up. So I want the analog stick really. Let's try this. Oh, L K I K J L. Oh, there we are. Okay, this is classic, classic Ghost of Sparta, God of War gameplay. So this is a cutscene, that's why it's playing at full speed and looks terrible. So this is 30 FPS, but it should be able to hit 60. Let's just try this at, at the default 2x re uh, resolution. Okay. Performance is okay, actually. How do I do L and R? L and R, Q, W. Okay, good. Okay, this one, last question, when when and cheat will be available on crossover? Uh, I answered this question earlier. It's probably not happening anytime soon. Um, I'm just looking at this door. Basically, crossover is not going to be able to, doesn't have enough um, kind of pull with developers and publishers to be able to convince them to actually implement the, the necessary anti cheat exceptions for crossover to work. So unless Apple do something and steps in or help support crossover with this particular issue, then it's not going to happen anytime soon. Whereas the Steam Deck and Valve, they do have some limited pull, I'll say, a large gaming customer base, which can convince developers of um, publishers of games like Apex Legends to allow exceptions for the Steam Deck to run through Proton. But Mac OS side, that is not happening anytime soon. We can't even, I mean, there's a limit to this. Like, for example, Destiny 2 on Steam Deck, that is a game which uh, has a huge player base on Steam, but still refuses, due to anti-cheat reasons, to allow exceptions for Proton and Steam Deck to actually work. And so, you know, it's a very high in demand game, uh, pro, you know, uh, Destiny 2, but uh, yeah. 
maybe two years. I don't, you know what? I don't even think it's going to happen because the Steam Deck's been out for nearly two, for two years now and it still hasn't happened for Destiny 2. And so I just don't see it happening for other, other games too. So I just don't think it's going to work. Okay, so it's cool. I can see that, I can see that uh, Olive War is working on PSP. Uh, it ain't pretty. You know, it's not pretty. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. Sorry, Shanine, there's no ARM64 build for Steam, so we can't even try Proton, I'm afraid. Because, like, I'm going to close this now. Basically, like, unless, unless there's a Steam here, unless Steam exists here, and it's not going to... We can't try Proton. We can't do anything, really. Okay, what else can we try? Do, do, do. What other games are there on the Discover Center? Super Tux Cart. I tested this before. Oh, offline account. It's funny. This game's so f silly. This is a silly game. I mean, this is one of the examples of like 3D acceleration that exists. I've always been on this. So this this definitely works, but it's uh not it's not particularly not to not to denigrate the uh, the efforts of the open source community, but it's not it is not good. Like a it's a good game, but it's just not particularly entertaining, especially when you're competing with something like, oh, let's emulate, let's emulate um, Mario Kart. Yeah, right. Let's emulate Mario Kart, or we could play Super Tux Kart. No, I can fire bowling balls if I press space. That's, that's, that's how good we're looking. Okay, Super Tux Kart's working. I wonder if there's anything else. SNES. Open TTD. Somebody suggested um a Quake um Quake port, right? I oh, yeah, Quake. Try this. Wow, there's a lot of source ports for Quake on there. I wonder what other source ports there are, because like there's a good website called Mac Source Ports, which has Ton of um interesting games. Oh, open Lara. This works on Mac OS. Free Space 2. These are all quite old games now. Bugdom. So a lot of these were gonna have um ARM64 ports as well. It was cool. Cause a lot of these games now, Dark Forces. So the new Dark Forces came out, it's, it's playable on crossover. I just found the World of Warcraft ARM client released two years ago for Windows 10 ARM machines. Don't know if it's possible to launch on Linux. Uh, what? World of Warcraft on a World of Warcraft ARM. What? I think this is using the, the X64 bit emulation on Windows 11 ARM or Windows 10 ARM. Shanine, Andrew, for some reason, it's not like I don't want to. I'd love it if it works. You could, why don't you try it, Shanine? You try it. Because I'm sure that it doesn't work. Okay, I have to. Download the, uh, okay, I'm going to skip this because I don't want to do that right now. Um, grabbing the, the, uh, official ver files for, you know, so let me see. It's usually working on, uh, Asahi Linux. Usually through Asahi Linux.
Let's see if there's anything new. Fail to install. Is user able to work now? People have been using Wii Jinx. It works for me. And let's see. Make sure. Yeah, so there's an ARM64 version. You know what? I'm not going to try easy because I've got I've got readings working. I'm satisfied that it sort of works for some some games. And what else can we try? Most popular stuff. Highest highest rated games. What? Games. If you do a water bucket MLG in Minecraft right now, I will like every single video on your channel. What's a water bucket MLG? What does that mean? Water bucket MLG. Major League Gaming. Pacific Drive. I haven't tried Pacific Drive. What is Pacific Drive? First person driving survival game with your cat. I wonder if anyone's tried it on a Mac. Yeah, I'm not sure. Runs okay on crossover. So yeah, it should work on crossover with game porting toolkit. Super Mario Odyssey. I think I tried this already, didn't I? Okay, let's try let's try Super Mario Odyssey and then pretty sure it's not gonna work. But uh let's try it. Let's give that a minute. I think this is probably the last thing I tried tonight. Because I've been streaming for nearly three hours now, so. And it's nearly 1 a.m. Bedtime on a school night, I think. Yeah. The, you know, overall, I've been really impressed with um, Asahi Linux. Like, it actually works really well. Um, considering that it's, it's such a... All of, the, all of the kind of insurmountable things that had to be fixed before had to be discovered like reverse engineered so you know and there's something that apple could just do straight away if they just provide the drivers and um specifications for you know for linux to work on a mac and the same thing for bootcamp as well for windows windows bootcamp but you know it's a shame that uh this team has had to work so hard in order to get all of these features working. And actually, you know, OpenGL 4.6 has surpassed what, what is available on Mac. So Mac OS side, I think, is limited to OpenGL 4.1. Um, and uh, and so and eventually these are all building blocks for um you know for, for eventual Vulcan support. So once we get X64 bit support, Vulcan support, all of that's gonna be way better. Okay, let's try Super Mario Odyssey. So I think I think it'll boot, but it won't go into the it won't be able to play. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Is this going to render? Will it render? It'd be amazing if it does. Hmm. It works. Is this in-game graphics or is this a cutscene? I think that, you know, the Mac, I think that Mario games tend to, they tend to use in-game graphics, right? You can see there's some graphical errors. Oh, seriously, this is good. It's a good suggestion.
Oh, this is good. If this is in game and it's running at 60 FPS, then that's impressive. Potentially better than, um, even better than Super Mario RPG, which is a remake of a SNES game. You cannot dislike an Andrew Tai video. It is absolutely illegal. You can try, you can do it. It's not, not like it makes a difference to me. No one can see the dislikes on YouTube videos anymore. The only person who sees it is me. And uh, you know, I get all my videos get ninety five percent likes anyway. That doesn't, doesn't make much difference. So I can see some graphical issues and some uh, stuttering. But overall, it seems seems good. And I look around. Yeah, this is working. Frame rate ain't good. You know, the M1 Max could run this a lot better, but this is like super early days. Seriously good. Seriously impressive. Oh. Okay, let's try changing this to handheld mode. So docked mode at 13, 12 frames per second, and then handheld. Can we get this a bit faster? Still 12 frames per second, 13 frames per second. MGSV, Metal Gear Solid 5. Nope. Ain't happening. Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2? 1, yeah. I could probably run it through Duck Station. But I think... So what, what I remember reading on the Reddit thread is that Ryu Jinx is working and that there, there are some serious performance issues with this release, but there are some fixes that are being implemented. Oh, whoa, this is uh, way faster now. Why is, this... Why is this suddenly running much faster? Like, it was like incredibly slow for a few, for a minute, but now it's like 60 frames per second. God. What is better than Mac OS about this? What's good is that this is definitely a graphical issue here. It's meant to be like a fog or something. What's good about this is that it's um, it's implementing a version of OpenGL, which is like the foundation of Vulkan, which could easily, which already has surpassed the macOS side. Now on the macOS side, if you want to implement Vulkan rendering, you have to use a translation layer called MultiVK to get it working on the Metal Graphics API, and it is seriously deficient in many ways, right, in terms of compatibility. And basically, the reason why this is exciting is because this is going to become better than the macOS version of MultiVK, most likely. And once x64-bit emulation is in place, then it means that we'll have compatibility and we'll have, be able to implement proton specific fixes. So we won't be able to just rely on crossover in the future. We'll be able to rely on Asahi Linux's proton 
and um, OpenGL and Vulkan implementation, which could potentially give a Proton-like experience. So we would be able to install Steam, you'll be able to uh, download and install games, it will implement the Proton fixes just like on a Steam Deck, and it's going to be way, way it's one of these outs, you know, one of these potential things which makes Mac gaming, you know, if there was a bit more resource poured into this, a bit more polished, then this could easily be better than Mac OS gaming. The thing that makes your streams so fun to watch because they're relaxing and anyone can ask anything, I have seen another streamer read that many chats while working on something. Well, it's kind of like, this is the content, isn't it? Shader compilation. Yeah, it's probably shader completion stutter. Now we're back to 12 FPS. I think it's because I've gone further in the level. Can I play Apex Legends on a Sahel Linux? No. Nope. Never. Not for years. Okay, so when we're here, it'd be nice if they actually told you when it's compiling shaders, because it's like such an essential part of um, the, the, uh, the emulation process. So, okay, let's try let's try progressing past the bridge. Whatever this white cloud is, I think it's meant to be like a fog effect, but it's just rendering really badly on the Mac. Okay, good. Let's just get to the next bit and then I think I'm gonna call it a night. This is the last bit of the the stream. Wahoo! Apex Legends can be animated, but it won't launch due to easy anti-cheat. Yes. If they could allow you to run the game offline, that would be really cool. Like, um, years ago I did, um, there was an offline server version of Apex Legends called R5 Reloaded, and that works really nicely on Parallels. Um, you can search up that video. Technically, it could work, it's just that the publisher's blocking access to it. The same thing when Apex Legends Mobile came out. Uh, you could sideload it using play cover, but um, you get insta banned as soon as you connect it to the server, which is just a shame. Shanine, can you make a video about RPCS3? I published a video about RPCS3 about a month ago on my second channel, so you can definitely check that out. I I basically be doing all of the um, all of my uh, all of my emulation videos. I'm redoing them all. Um, here, here I've got an up-to-date, this is my up-to-date video about, um, PS3 emulation. I, I, I made this one like last, last month. So, um, that's all, that's all working correctly. So, if, uh, some games don't work. A lot more games work now than they used to. So you should definitely check it out. Um, my second channel has, uh, I'll be doing one as requested about Arkham, Arkham Asylum, but uh, I, I basically uh, did a bunch of game emulation videos for Mac OS. So I've done Nintendo DS, um, Switch, PSP, PS2, uh, OpenMU. Uh, I've got a few more which I'm just editing right now. So I, I, I made all these tutorials when um, I made all these tutorials when I did my last emulation video, which I released on the main channel, on this channel. Uh, and so I'm going to cover them all. So he's saying, um, try Ratchet and Clank Nexus and Sly Cooper Thieves in time and can get it to work. Some games just not going to work. I'm not sure if, um, if you do a search for like Ratchet Clank Nexus, RPCS3, like the first thing to check is like, is it going to work? on Windows RPCS3, because that's like the most developed. Um, yeah, so someone's struggling to play it on a Windows computer with a fast graphics card, um, then it's not going to work that well on a Mac. So Russian and Clank. Uh, doesn't tell us much on the wiki whether it works is. Uh, you can try, yeah, the read color buffers fix is mentioned in the the video tutorial that I made. But um, that that fixes a lot of issues. 
with uh, a lot of PS3 games have this uh, right color buffers issue. It does make the emulation run slower, but uh, it'll, it'll render the world accurately. Are you going to test Pacific Drive? Um, maybe I will test it. What is, what is Pacific Drive? Does it have a... Hmm, interesting. Is this a good game? Yeah, I'll test. It's on my list. I'll do. I'll do it next week. Okay. Can you emulate x86? No, there's no. There's no x86 um, Steam that can run on ARM64 at the moment. But as soon as it happens, I'll definitely be making a video about it later. Is it really necessary to have an entire different OS on the Mac for bringing OpenGL Vulkan closer to Metal? Why can't this be done on Mac OS? Yeah, you just can't. Um, I think the Mac OS side, you can't install drivers like that. Not easily. Marzalin, are you planning a Q&A anytime soon? Uh, this is the Q&A. You can ask anything on the chat and uh, I'll probably answer it. Salman you are the, says, you are the best man in the world. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm just a man. So I get a bunch of free games from Games Planet. So um, I might test this out. So maybe I'll do a crossover stream in the future. Yeah. Is the question that I always have with game testing is that is it a popular game? Right? Do people are are people actually playing it? You know, that, that makes it ooh, nine thousand. Hmm, not bad. When did this come out? Just came out. So where did all these people come from? Oh, there's just one week. Okay, I'll definitely do this then. It's on my list. I'm writing it down. Pacific Drive. And uh, I've got to do, what was it? Batman Arkham Asylum. It's on my list. Okay. It's on my list. I'm a list of crap to do. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you very much. I think I'm just about to head over the three hour mark or nearly three hour mark. Is there anything that you want me to cover? Please leave a comment. Um, I am thinking about doing a QA. and a I'm thinking about doing more like members only stuff. So in the future, I might do a members only stream. So if you want to check that out, then make sure to sign up as, uh, as part of a membership. Um, I'm not really sure what a QA and a would be can be composed of. Another future video idea I'm going to have is like all of the tips and tricks for getting crossover working. I've discovered a lot of things after using, you know, crossover for many years now, like how to get the most of it. So I might do a video on that in the future. Um, and uh, I'm not sure I can get pure dark. Yeah, Shanine, I, I, I haven't got pure dark working with the FSR three frame generation mod. It'd be really great if, um, if someone could figure that out, because I have no idea how to get that working. Still, I'm still subscribed to, to both Pure Dark and Luke FZ's uh, Patreons at the moment. So eagerly awaiting um, any kind of uh, fixes for that, including Elden Ring. So yeah, like you said, Pure Dark has the only Elden Ring FSR3 mod that's apparently working, and I haven't managed to get it working myself. So um, if someone can figure that out, then I'd really appreciate it. That's the kind of thing is like, I only really know how to do these things because someone else has done them. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll buy this game. Is this a good game? It looks interesting. I've never seen a, is it like, is it like a game where, let's have a look. Let's test out some YouTube rendering. YouTube Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive. Let's do a trailer. I want to stream snipe someone just did that. Okay. So is this a it's a Steam game, right? Yeah, Steam. And it's on Epic too. It's not a good game. If it ain't good, then why are there so many people playing it? 
Well, I've got I've got Super Mario still running in the background. It looks good. Yeah, the reviews are good. Are they good? Still mostly positive reviews. It looks really good. Looks interesting. If this can work, it is it thing? Yeah, you modify a car, collect stuff, I guess, load it up. What kind of baddies are you fighting? It's like alien monsters. Yeah. Have you, already, Steve, have you already played this game? You played it on a different system and you want to get it working on your Mac? Is that what you want to do? This is what crossover is for. Is like, you, you, you probably don't want to play it on your Mac as the first platform necessarily. But it, it'd be interesting to get this working. So I, I think I, it's on my list to try. Available now. People like this. Okay, guys, so I'm ending the stream now. So anyway, thank you very much for, um, yeah, that's pro probably what's going to make me get crossover. Yeah. Thanks for joining in the stream today. I really appreciate I think I had over 200 concurrent viewers at some point, but uh, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad people enjoyed watching the stream. Um, I'll be making a video about um, SI Linux probably in the next day or two, so make sure to check it out. It's going to be a tutorial on how to get this working, how to get the um, drivers updated and how to get OpenGL 4.6 working, getting Minecraft working, etc. Uh, so make sure to check that out. And uh, I've got a bunch of other content probably coming out in the next few days. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.